Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, back for another Grounded video, and let me tell you something, day in and day out, we read comments on our videos, people trying to help out other people, and scattered in there is some honestly good feedback. But one thing I don't think we're talking about enough in the Grounded community is the smoothie station. I mean seriously, when you fired up the game, you may have had it once in your first base. But if you're anything like me, you just didn't have the time to figure out all of the recipes, and you just wanted to keep exploring. Well, those days are up, and it's finally time that we have an honest conversation about this workstation. Dare I say, one of the most important in the game. Now, I know that's a really bold claim, but let me break it all down for you. The smoothie station, in one way, shape, or form, checks off all the boxes and provides players with exactly what they need to keep on adventuring. Smoothies can restore hunger, restore thirst, can heal, and can provide players with buffs. And at this point, that's a game changer. Now, the August 27th update is rapidly approaching, and there will be countless updates after that, so this is the perfect time to get a grip on this workstation and figure out some of the best recipes to use. Now, I want to start with the green machine. This is the staple, the holy grail when it comes to backyard survival. And if you aren't stocking up on this little green beverage, you have to ask yourself, why not? This smoothie is made by combining one plant fiber, one sprig, and one clover, arguably the easiest materials to harvest in the game. On top of that, Green Machine provides players with an instant heal, and that's the game changer when it comes to smoothies. Sure, bandages are fine, and you can make them when you're out in the field, but having the ability to instantly heal on the spot could be the difference maker. On top of that, Green Machine buffs players with hyper stamina, which allows players to regain stamina faster. Again, a difference maker. No matter how you look at it, this smoothie is leaps and bounds above every other option in the game. The only thing it doesn't do is restore your hunger, but with other options like jerky and acorn bits around, it hardly matters. If this is as far as you want to get with smoothies, that's fine. You honestly don't need to dive any deeper at this time, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't dive deeper into the content. Now, if I had to rank smoothies, I'd say the Liquid Rage was my number two pick. Unlike the Green Machine, the Liquid Rage is a beast to create, especially if combat isn't your strong suit. To make one Liquid Rage, you'll need an Ant Mandible, Spider Fang, and Larva Spike. Now these are three things that you're not just going to stumble across in the backyard, and I get that. But the benefits of drinking a Liquid Rage are substantial. One of these smoothies restores your hunger, heals you, and gives you a beefy attack buff. If I had to break it down, I'd say Green Machine is your everyday drink, and Liquid Rage, well that's for special occasions when you want to pick a fight with some nasty bugs. Obviously, chugging one of these makes killing those bugs even easier because of the buff, so factor that in when you're farming. Next up on our list is the Hedgelord Smoothie, and this is decent, I'm not gonna lie, but the resource requirements is a little more demanding than the Green Machine, which is why it's not really going to make the cut. You make the Hedgelord by combining acorn bits, aphid honeydew, and berry chunks. The smoothie itself restores hunger, heals you, and lowers the rate of both your hunger and thirst meters, but honestly, who's got time to harvest aphid honeydew? Not this guy. Now, all joking aside, it's a good smoothie. I've just found that my precious berry chunks always go to something more important first. There are two more smoothies currently in the game, and to be frank, I just can't see many people wasting their time with either. The first is the Boost Juice, which restores hunger, heals, and increases maximum stamina. There's nothing inherently wrong with Boost Juice, but collecting aphids isn't exactly easy and straightforward, which makes it more of a hassle than anything else. Aphids don't stack in your inventory, and they spoil, so overall, it's just not an efficient farm. The other smoothie, Fuzz on the Rocks, may have the best name out of all the smoothies, but here again, we're talking about precious resources required to make something that really doesn't make that big of an impact. To make Fuzz on the Rocks, you'll need to combine Mite Fuzz, Quartzite, and a Peblet, and two out of those three ingredients are pretty important, so wasting it on a smoothie to restore thirst, heal, and increase your maximum health just doesn't seem worth it. Friends, I'm not joking when I say you need to add smoothies to your backyard diet. I mean, seriously, with updates happening every month, you can get ahead of this right now and start farming for some delicious green machines. If you've been surviving without the smoothies, that's fine. But seriously, give it a try. Just one time, and I promise that you'll never look back. As always, thank you guys so much for checking out our Grounded videos. If you want more awesome content in your feed, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing so you never miss an upload. Also, if you want to tap into the Legion Gaming Network of players, check out our Discord. Over 5,000 members on our server, and we're growing every day, so click that link below and join the Legion. My name is Kodiak, and on behalf of Livid and myself, thanks for watching, and play on.